Hi guys, a really warm welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another budget grocery haul meal plan come shop with me. I did one of these recently and you guys seem to really love it and to be honest with you I love making this kind of video because I hope that it inspires you to be able to do your food shop on such a small budget. So I'm going to be trying to do it again £40 for four people week of meals and I'm going to take you along to Aldi, I'm going to show you what is new, I will be showing you my meal plan and then my grocery haul so keep on watching to the end to see if I actually stuck to £40 because it is a challenge, let's be real, it's not easy or cheap to feed your family uh, but that's what I'm here for, I'm here to hopefully inspire you to do this. I'm also really excited about this video because it's actually a collaboration with a new lady that you won't have heard me speak about before. I am just like thanking the YouTube gods for bringing us together because I feel like her content is really valuable to anyone else and you guys especially that love living your best life on a budget and just getting lots of inspirational ideas. Her name is Hazel. I'm going to leave her channel linked in the description bar. She's also going to be doing a budget food grocery haul and sharing with you some meal ideas and I think you will love her channel. She does such inspiring content like budgeting, lots of home buying. That's how I first found her because obviously we are trying to buy our first house at the moment as well. And she does loads of really helpful and informative content over on her channel. And I just really think that you are gonna really enjoy it. So definitely go over to her channel after you've watched this one and check it out. And let her know that I sent you, say hello from me. And of course, if you're new from Hazel's channel, thank you so much for clicking in to watch this video. I hope that you enjoy it and that you might want to stick around and subscribe to my channel. I upload three times a week and I do lots of budgeting videos, I do lots of kind of fashion on a budget and capsule wardrobes and uh, we're buying a house so lots of house buying stuff and loads of other lifestyle -y stuff so I really hope that you enjoy my channel and you might want to stick around and subscribe. And also I did put over on my Instagram stories which is Lara Joanna Jarvis that I w could have done a £20 just for me or a £40 for the family and most people wanted the £40 for the family so I'm going to be sharing with you how I get to that. How on earth I'm going to feed my family for £40 this week. I'm actually doing the low FODMAP at the moment so a lot of mine is for that. Um, we are plant based as well but at the moment just while I'm doing the low FODMAP I am kind of flexitarian I guess you'd say and the children do eat meat so we're a bit of a mixed bag so hopefully there's something here that will give you inspiration for your meals this week and I really hope you enjoyed the video guys. But for now, let's get into it. So I just wanted to show you what I can't have particularly. So I just looked for corn, it wasn't on here, but so for example, this is why I'm really struggling to do the vegan diet at the moment because everything I would eat is not allowed. So lentils, um, what are they called? Um, vegetarian mints. So that's corn, um, beans, kidney beans, baked beans, soybeans, split peas. Uh, so yeah, basically it's so hard trying to do it vegan. If you're vegan and doing FODMAP, let me know. Do you want to try some vegan food, Maggie? Wouldn't be a vlog without you in it, would it, Missy? It wouldn't be a vlog without you in it. Oh, okay, so I have, oh, let me put you up there a sec, guys. Can you see me all right? What you can't see is this guy. <laughs> okay, so I've done my meal plan and I've also done my list, shopping list. So what I'll probably do this time is share my meal plan now and then do the shopping, share you, share my tips of what I like, how I save money while I'm at the shops and then also do the haul afterwards. So keep on watching to see if I manage to stick to this list and how much I spent. So first of all, I'm gonna show you my meal plan. So we've got tuna pasta bake on Monday. So I've got the gluten-free pasta, which uh, I actually got from somewhere else because they don't do it in Aldi, but obviously I don't. When I come to costing this up, I won't like give you the whole amount because I haven't used a whole amount. But anyway, gluten-free pasta, I uh, can have 60 grams of courgette for my FODMAP. I'm gonna have some cheese, spinach, and tinned tomatoes. I'm just gonna make it really easy to eat tuna pasta bake. And then Tuesday, I'm gonna have sm uh, salmon with new potatoes, spinach, and tomatoes. It's been a go-to for me. It's really, really delicious. Stuart can have this with a vegan uh, sa um, fish, fish thing that he has. Uh, and then 
Wednesday I'm going to have sweet potato risotto again another vegan one you can make this meaty if you want to add some chicken in or change the vegan cheese to normal cheese so with this I'm going to have use brown rice I'm not going to actually use the uh, risotto rice I've done this before and it turned out really nice with some sweet potato some courgette some gluten-free stock and some cheese and then I'm going to just add that all in at the end uh, to the rice and I will show you maybe a little clip of what this looks like and then I'm going to do some roasted broccoli on the side and I'm going to do a little crumb on the top uh, with breadcrumbs and then Thursday is going to be the tuna pasta bake from Monday and I'm going to have that as leftovers with a side of broccoli so again that's just going to see me through two lots of meals out of one dish no cooking that night uh, Thursday is going to be fish cakes and salad this is going to be leftovers from the here I'm going to add in some grated carrots some coriander and some spring onions with some potatoes so that's basically that mashed up for the portion two leftovers again I'm going to do that with a little side so cucumber tomato and rocket so that'd be really yummy I'm looking forward to that and then Friday is going to be either a sweet potato curry or if I can find it in Aldi a tofu curry so vegan for both of us to be able to eat so for this I need the rice which I've already got for that one and I need tofu if they sell it sweet potato I've got some freezer fresh chilies and herbs I can chuck into it uh, coconut milk, spinach and crispy spring onions. As you can see from this, a lot of the meals are the same ingredients but used in a different way. So that is going to help with the food waste. It means I'm not going to waste any food because I'm going to be using everything up. So for example, the spinach, one bag of spinach is featured in almost all of the meals five out of six meals so all but the fish cakes and i'll probably have some spinach on the side let's be real um uh, so yeah something like that so the potatoes the rice the broccoli is featured twice and that will be the all of the broccoli used uh the sweet potatoes are t featured uh twice in two meals so basically it means that i'm not spending too much money because what i'm using what i'm buying i'm going to use a whole lot out of, of it <laughs> so that's key to saving money and obviously meal planning is the main one so that's my list on the other side of what I want to get and then I've got some extra things here so cornflakes are going to be my breakfast because I can have cornflakes and that's really nice because I get a bit bored of porridge so what I'm going to do is alternate porridge and cornflakes and also have gluten-free bread with peanut butter so that is all meal all breakfast of the week is either going to be cornflakes porridge with fruit overnight oats which i don't really like but i'm on that hype everyone talks about it but i'm like it's just cold porridge do you feel like you do you like overnight oats let me know if you have tried them and you like them because i can't quite get over the fact that it's just cold porridge but i'm gonna have that one of the days just to mix it up and then also gluten-free toast with peanut butter two of the day so that's like a different breakfast every day but just using three breakfasts uh, and also I need to get the boys some fruit pouches and I need to get their dinners as well So most of the time like tuna pasta bake they'll eat with me The only ones they won't are probably the spinach But what I'm gonna do for them is do like um, spinach. I mean salmon I'm gonna give them sausages or something if I can find some really high quality Meat in Aldi then I will get that for the children and yeah fruit pouches and they just need some snacks and stuff so Let's go to Aldi and see if I can stick to this for 40 pounds I've arrived at Aldi and it's absolutely rammed, so I'm hoping the shelves are going to be full. So these ones are 17 pence each, eight each, and then the single ones are actually 14 pence each, so I'm going to get these for the children. Keep an eye out, so these, one kilo for now 50p, or half a kilo for 30p, so if you wanted a kilo, definitely buy the bigger one, you should get those more. However, you've also got, for the 10p more, 1.5 gram uh, kilos. So yeah, definitely just keep an eye on these individual prices and kilo prices to get the best deal. I'm just checking these. So these are 28p, these are 35. But the ones that are 35, I don't know if you can see that, have got sugar in them. That's like the second ingredient. So I'm going to go for those ones and make my own. So this is where I will spend a bit more. We've got the everyday tuna chunks in brine, which are 59p, or the responsibly sourced ones, which are 79p. So I will definitely be choosing the responsibly sourced ones just because I want to make sure if I am buying animal products, then it is the best kind. 
This is also a game changer. Garlic infused olive oil. So not the one with bits of chunks of garlic, but the infused one you can have on the FODMAP because you're not allowed onion or garlic, which is obviously the basis of most of my food. So getting this is a game changer. So it is quite pricey, 169, but it's gonna make all the difference. And I also just wanna know, like where's everyone storing all this toilet roll they're bulk buying? Because like, I wouldn't have the space to do that. <laughs> I did it. I'm excited to show you what I got and how much I spent. Let's get that unpacked and I can show you what I got and then tell you how much I spent. Life is a winding road. No tell. Okay, so let's start here with the veggies. Then we're going to like dry stuff and then other bits and bobs, ending with the non-vegan stuff that I got, in case you don't need to see that. So first of all, I got scallions. I think they call them scallions in America. Let me know if they call them something else, but spring onions. On the low FODMAP, you're allowed like from there up. So I'm gonna be using those. I'm gonna try and freeze this half to see if I can have it once I'm off of the low FODMAP. But I'm gonna do this like um, crispy for one of the uh, recipes and you can like sprinkle on top of a curry, that's really nice. And also into my fish cakes. I've got some wild rocket, which I'm loving at the moment. Really, really like the taste of it. Uh, I've got some baking potatoes. I forgot to mention for lunches, I've been having bake baked potatoes with uh, dairy-free butter. I can have it with cheese. I could have it with tuna. So that's giving me an extra kind of meal option for lunch. I've got some tomatoes, some miniature potatoes. If you saw my last one, I can't, apparently I'm not allowed to call them baby or new potatoes, they're miniature potatoes. So that's great with salmon and my roasted tomatoes and spinach. I've got the children some apples, because I love Granny Smith for some reason. Uh, some sweet potatoes. I got these loose, these are huge, and this kind of like one will do for one meal and one for the other. I got some carrots for the children to have chopped up as snack, and also for in my um, fish cakes. Uh, cucumber for the children and also bananas for the children and some cucumber for my salad as well Oh, and I got some broccoli as well. I think I can only have like from here upwards for the low FODMAP Yeah, I know it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's crazy what you can and can't have but I can have this roasted which I really love <gasps> by the way I'm not allowed cauliflower on the low FODMAP. My life as I knew it, as a plant-based person, is over. So I'm trying to mix it up. I'm having uh, like broccoli instead, roasted, but roasted cauliflower and roasted cauliflower curry and bang bang cauliflower was just my life. So yeah, I'm having to get over that. Why are you not allowed cauliflower? I don't know, on the low FODMAP. But anyway, back to it. So I've got uh, the children uh, some apple juice this week because uh, they usually have orange juice, but I thought they might like to try that one. This is some pudding for them. That's uh, eight there. And also some custard creams as like mixing it up for pudding. I got them some milk. They don't really have loads of milk, but sometimes they have it in their cereal. They often like their cereal dry though, without milk. Uh, this is the vegan butter, which is really, really nice. I love it. It doesn't really taste like you're not having butter. Uh, then rice for the dishes that I'm having with rice, the risotto and the curry. Now I splashed out on these, these are their fruit, fruit pouches. They are way too old to be having these but they love them and they're organic and full of fruit so they can have one of those when they choose. Then again pudding stuff, rice pudding, chopped tomatoes. You may have seen I went for these because I didn't like the fact that the others had sugar in it. I don't know why you need to put sugar in the tomatoes just to make them tasty. So I'm going to put in some chopped herbs and some of my garlic infused oil which is going to be a game changer for me because you're not allowed garlic in when you're on low FODMAP. That was quite spendy as well. And then coconut milk for my curry. Uh, so after school snacks, again, I've got these um, seal bars. I mean, we all know what they're meant to be. And then I did go for a tin of tuna, which I'm gonna have uh, in one of my meals, my um, tray bake, pasta bake, so that's that one. So I also got some porridge oats for breakfast. These are for the children, they absolutely love them. They love them plain, but also I'm gonna do like fish tacos with them. So I've got fish fingers in the freezer. So the night that I have fish cakes, they'll probably have these. Uh, but most of the other meals I have with us. Cornflakes, these were like 70p or something. So much more affordable than the Kellogg's ones. I got them some hula hoops as after school snack again. And then I'm gonna try them on these uh, 
curly whirly fries just to see what they think of those as a side to their meals skip forward like a minute if you don't want to see this um i've got the jumbo peeled uh and cooked jumbo king prawns these are huge they were quite spendy but these i love to have in the cupboard if i just fancy a quick lunch uh, or dinner of noodles and this and just some broccoli fried up and it's really really quick so i just have those for the freezer it's not necessary for my meal plan this week i've got the children british free range chicken fillets so i'll do them some like a mini roast dinner uh with carrots and potatoes and broccoli all the things i've bought but i just wanted to get the free range ones and those two will last them two meals so half of one of those each for two meals and then i also got this scottish sourced rspca assured fish salmon fillets for a meal so that's going to do my fish cakes and my salmon and rocket and tomato and new potatoes which i can't wait for i do love that meal although i have had it to death this last couple of weeks and then uh so cheddar as well for the children and for topping my tray bake so that is what i bought let me tell you what i spent i feel like i want a drum roll let's do a drum roll did i make sh that was a really crap drum, drum roll did i get there did i do it under 40 pounds so what i need to say is i didn't get any corn mints they are all out of most things that are vegan in aldi which is just a real shame so corn mints i need to buy that's a couple of pounds so that will add on two pounds so my total with the two pounds is 35 pounds 61 i did it i did it for less than i did last time i've got some amazing nutritious healthy easy quick simple dinners and I'm so excited. I've also got lunches and breakfast for that. So literally a full week of meals for £35. Can I get a hell yeah? <laughs> if this was helpful or inspiring or just you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Because it does help to tell YouTube that you guys enjoy it and that you want to see more of it and you want more people to see it. I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to now go over to Hazel's video and go and drop her some love from me. Say that I sent you and go and check out her other videos because I think you'll really, really like them. Thank you for watching and welcome if you're new from Hazel's channel. Please do think about subscribing. I'd love to have you here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.